In today's video, you're going to learn how to turn a letter into a portrait using Photoshop. This is a really simple effect that you can use for your own personal branding. So if you like these types of videos, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can just simply comment down below and I'll reply to you within 48 hours. So let's get started. So I'm simply just going to start by typing in the letter that we want. So I'm just going to simply type in the letter A. So I'm just going to click in the middle of the canvas and just type A. And I actually want an uppercase letter. So let's hit backspace and I'm going to hold shift and type in A again. So we have an uppercase A. And if you want to increase the, the size of this font, you can just press Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac. And you can hold shift and increase the size of this image or the size of this letter. And you have to hold shift because if you don't hold shift, then the letter will become disproportionate and you don't want that. So just keep the proportions of this letter and let's just place it right in the center and hit enter. So I've got this image here and this is the portrait that we're going to use. So this is from a website called pixels.com, which is a great website to find copyright free images for your projects, for your business, and they have uh, millions of images. So we're going to work with a few different letters and a few different images from this website. So I'm just going to right click and copy this image and let's go back here. So what I want to do is paste in the image inside of this letter. So how do we do that? I'm going to hold control and click on the letter layer right here. So if you don't see this layer window, just go to windows and click on layer right here. And uh, you should be able to see this uh, letter layer with like a T and an A next to it. So if you hold control and click on that layer, it will just select everything in that layer, which is the letter A. So we have this selection in the shape of the letter A. So now what you do is go to edit and instead of just clicking on paste, go to go to space, paste special and go to paste into. So this will just paste the image inside of the selection that we made. So now you can just hide the letter that we have uh, that we typed in before because you can see those little black lines just behind it. So if you just hide that, now we have a clean looking image inside of the letter A. So now if you click on the, um, the image, there's two, two boxes right here. There's the image box in this layer icon and there's also uh, a little black box with the shape of the layer. So if you hold Alt and you click on that black box, this will pop up. So this is called the masking uh, layer mask or masking box. So some people call it layer mask. I call it masking box. So this uh, anything that's black in this uh, layer mask or masking box is uh, hidden. Anything that's white is revealed. So if I take, um, let's just say a paintbrush tool and I'm going to paint this section white. So I'm just showing you. Uh, I'm just doing this to show you as an example. And if I press Alt again and I click on the um, masking box again, you can see that bit is revealed. So this is something that we can play with to reveal parts of the image and also hide parts of the, the letter as well. So let's just undo that by pressing Control Z. And let's, uh, if you click on the, uh, the letter, uh, the image now, and you click the moving tool, you can actually move the image now. So I can move this image maybe further down here. And maybe I sh yeah, maybe I want it around here. Yep, that looks pretty good there. So what I can do uh, is reveal part, part of her face just uh, around this gap and maybe just around her chin as well, just over here as well. So uh, what's the best way to do that? The best way to do that is by just making an extra copy of this layer. And you so you just drag and drop this into the new layer icon. And I'm going to actually delete the masking box on this extra copy that we just made. So right click and delete layer mask. And now I'm going to lower the opacity of this extra copy. So I'm just going to lower it all the way down to, let's just say, yeah, about 30%. So now this extra copy that we made and we lowered the opacity to, uh, um, of, of this extra copy, it just kind of gives us an idea of what we need to reveal. So all of these bits here around the letter is already revealed, but we also want to reveal her face and part of her chin as well. So I'm going to go uh, to the original layer that we had of the image of the portrait image, and I'm going to choose a white color. And I'm also going to choose the masking box right here. So I'm not, I didn't press alt and click it. I just clicked on it 
just normally. And now what I'm going to do is reveal part of her face. So since we chose the white color, it's revealing her face instead of uh, hiding it. So we can just reveal bits and pieces here and we can also get our eyebrow as well um, with a smaller brush. So let's just zoom in a little bit further and I might actually increase the opacity a little bit more so we can see it a bit more clearly here. And let's just reveal, oops, it's too much there. Let's reveal parts of her chin here. Yep, that looks good. Let's also reveal bits and pieces here. Let's do a bit more detail around her eyebrows here as well. So let's zoom in a bit further here. And let's uh, get a really small brush of like one uh, pixel size. And let's just reveal parts of our eyebrows. Uh, eyelashes sorry just here so we can get those really nice looking details on this image as well cool so it looks good so let's zoom out and I might actually I think I actually forgot bits and pieces here as well so let's also reveal that just a little bit here so it doesn't look off and let's zoom out and let's get her chin back as well let's zoom out here and let's just go right through that outline. That looks good. So now let's zoom out. And now if I just click off the extra copy that we made, we have a nice looking letter portrait image that we just made. So if you, if you can actually make this even more detailed by adding in some shadows. So uh, if I um, hold control again and click on the layer, um, layer mask box or the masking box, it creates this um, outline. And you can actually see we missed out a spot right here. So let's get that back as well. So let's just click um, on the brush tool, choose a white color, click on the masking box, and let's just reveal that back. And maybe even here we, we can reveal bits there. Cool. So now let's click on the layer mask box and let's put in a shadow. So what I'm going to do is create an extra layer and I'm going to move this layer below the layer of the portrait. and I'm going to choose the black, uh, choose the paint bucket tool and choose a black color. And let's just paint the selection that we have. So we got that selection by holding control and clicking on the layer mask box right here. So now let's move that. Um, so we have this shadow that we have. So we need to make this actually look like a shadow, not just a silhouette. So I'm going to move this just slightly down. There we go. And I'm also going to give this a blur. So uh, make sure you have the shadow layer selected. So let's just name this shadow and let's go into uh, filter, blur and click on Gaussian blur right here. So this just blurs the edges of uh, any anything within this layer. So we have a shadow there. So it's just, it's just going to blur that image and maybe let's blur it quite a bit. I think, yeah, I think that's about it there. So depending on how much you want it to blur, and let's click on OK. And I'm also going to lower the opacity because that's a quite a dark shadow. And let's also move it slightly down as well. So let's just move it down. And also make maybe decrease the shadow a little bit more. I think it looks pretty good there. So let's just zoom out. I can also give it like a gray background so we can actually see the image a bit more clearly because this is a quite a light image. So if you give it like a slight gray background, you might be able to see it a little bit more clearly. Yeah, there we go. So that looks really good now. So now let's play around with a few more letters and a different images. Maybe you could, we could even play with some animal images as well. So let's play around with a few more images. So at this point, you just need to play around with different letters. Uh, you can even try different words and also different images. You can even try this with like animal images, uh, building images. Uh, you can get really creative with this uh, type of effect. So if you have any questions, you can comment down below. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel. I'm coming out with videos daily and I really want this channel to grow and re to really help a big commun community of uh, uh, creative people. So, but that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.